Good evening there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rick Nash here for the Zimdicar series. I am live via satellite with Savats, who's returning to Zimdicar for the first time since, I believe, the Super Season in June, correct? Uh, I, I believe it was June. I think it was sometime in late June. It was after Indianapolis, so I believe that's correct, yeah. And as, of course, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen <laughs> correct myself there, we can see Savats wearing, of course, the New York Yankees hair. Big Yankees fan, he told me before we went uh, on air live. So he must, be, he must have been real ecstatic after they won the World Series this year. Oh, of course. I mean, they haven't won a series since 2000. They haven't even been in a series, I think, since 2003. Yeah, big Yankees fan. I should know these stats, right? Yeah, of course I was ecstatic. I'm, a, I'm an Italian guy from New Jersey. So, yeah, man, I'm a Yankees fan. Now, what made you decide to return to Zindicott Series competition after a short stint in the stock car world? Well, you know, the Indianapolis 500 is just, uh, it's, that's, that's in my heart. I love the Indianapolis 500. I love the Indy cars. I grew up watching the Indy cars, and uh, that's, that's where I feel at home. That's where I want to be. Um, so it really wasn't that tough of a decision. I haven't, I haven't raced an IndyCar since I left IndyCar, but uh, it's, just, it's, it's nice to be back to see familiar faces, and it's just nice to be back. Now, of course, a good friend of yours, Justin Petschow, was going to be, was to have his own team, EP Racing, of course, as a, as a little venture between him and his friend John Ellenberg and himself. But uh, when you proposed the idea to bring up uh, Mears Motorsport, what was his reaction when you told him? Justin's reaction was, uh, was very positive. I mean, um, he, he's, he's pretty excited about it. Uh, I wish that he could be here. We could have like a side by side interview, but uh, now he he was very excited about it. I'm I'm also excited about uh, about helping Justin. I, I think that I think that together we could be a pretty good team. He hasn't had the the best results, but I see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, potential in Justin. So um, perhaps with the right guidance, and I'm not trying to act like the master or anything like that, but I've I've been successful in Zimnicar, and I think I know what it takes to win. And I would like to be the one to help him to achieve better results and if I can do that uh, then it would be fantastic uh, when you last talked to him uh, what do you say about uh, he was supposed to start the first two races of the season and go to the rest place he run a full season but two commitments came up and rumor has it he came up with an idea of actually bringing his friend John Illenberg as a relief driver and then have him as a full-time driver for the team uh, well yeah we, we talked about that um, I don't really, I don't know who John Ellenberg is. I've never met with him. I don't know how he, how he races or anything about him. Uh, so what I told Justin was that, you know, obviously I'd like to meet the guy. That makes sense, right? I'd like to meet the guy and maybe run some practice laps in him. Um, but, you know, in Zimni Karts allowed, you, you can have a relief driver if you need one, and Justin needs one. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to work with whoever, uh, whoever Justin thinks would be a good replacement driver for him. I'll work with him. No problem. I could be teammates with him. And, of course, uh, I know you're pretty aesthetic for, uh, going off topic here, you're pretty aesthetic for the news that came out of the IndyCar series, of course, Danica Patrick staying in for uh, Andretti Autosport with GoDaddy coming on board, as well as the title sponsor, IZOD, coming on for the IndyCar series, now known as the IZOD IndyCar series for 2010. I guess oh, that was a question. Well, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm very excited, of course. I, um, I'm a big Danica Patrick fan because I think that she brings, she brings interest to the sport. She, she's a good, solid racer. She's not so much a winner because she doesn't have the aggressive, she doesn't have what it really takes to be aggressive and mix it up and get out there. And, you know, it's a very competitive series. And, you know, if, if you don't have that aggressive nature, if you're not willing to take the risks when it counts, you're not going to win many races. Well, Danica won a race. It was a fuel race, but it counts as a win. Um, but, you know, like I said, she brings a lot of excitement to the series. And she's obviously a, a household name now. Everybody knows who Danica Patrick is. And uh, so it's, it's very exciting to know that she's signed, I think, a three-year uh, extension, a three-year deal with, uh, with Andretti. And it's a great thing for the sport. I'm looking forward to seeing how she's going to do, and hopefully she'll get a little more aggressive, but not, you know, nothing stupid smart aggressive 
Now, I was talking to Kevin Bean earlier, and he said that when you first came back into the Zindicar headquarters up in Indianapolis, he said he was ecstatic, and he said, he, well, he told me that uh, he talked to you and said, you know, I'd like to come back, you know, I missed the competition here. Uh, what else did he say after you talked to him? Um, well, actually, to be honest, it was the other way around. I didn't expect to come back to Zimdicar, um, you know, after what happened. I mean, you know, let bygones be bygones, but I felt like, you know, at the time I was given kind of a raw deal. There were accusations of cheating going around, and they took the win away from me at Indy that I felt I deserved. But like I said, let bygones be bygones, and for all intents and purposes, I was done. You know, I was, I was done with the series, and I didn't really care if I ever came back. But... There was a part of me that did miss the competition, you know. I missed I missed running with, uh, with with the drivers that I got accustomed to running with week in and week out, and uh, you know nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes, and so I was willing to let that go. Um, and and you know what, the the thing is, uh, let's see, how can I put this? Kevin Bean and Marco Brugelli, they actually came to me, and they said, we'd like to have you back. You know, I said, I said, really? Are you serious? Or are you just pulling my chain? So I, I was really uh, quite apprehensive at first. I wasn't really sure if this was a joke, you know, or what. So I tested the waters. I ran in Indianapolis. Everybody seemed to be very receptive to the fact that uh, that they opened the doors back uh, open to me again, that I could come and run the series again. And everybody seemed uh, pretty genuinely pleased about it. So that, that kind of warmed everything up for me. And so right now I'm just looking forward to the winter season and I want to have a successful season. I'd like to get another championship. I wanted to be the one to win two, the first one to win two championships, but uh, Kevin Bean got that done. So, you know, maybe I can uh, tie that feat. And who knows, maybe go for three for the super season. That would be nice. That would be nice. And, of course, uh, one more thing uh, before we sign off live for the live via satellite fight. Uh, in the past, Justin Petscher tried to get you as a teammate on his team, his Petscher Motorsports team, but uh, it didn't work out, apparently. Uh, when you came to him and asked him that, uh, supposedly his reaction was at first, you know, he's going to he'll test it out. It, but he didn't have that thought until you say, you know, I'll take you under my wing. Basically, he was a mentor, like what Rick, the famous Rick Mears did with, of course, Paul Tracy and a couple other drivers. Okay. Okay. Well said. Was that a statement or a question? I'm sorry. I think you kind of lost uh, it. That was actually a statement, a uh, question. So, I'm sorry, what was the question again? Uh, when you first came to Pet Shower, He's told me that he had different thoughts. You know, he wanted to continue running his team. But since his two teammates were busy at the time, of course, Chris, a.k.a. Doc Whedon, uh, could not make the winter season until at least the month of May for the super season because of the motocross season. And Ellenberg said, you know, he wasn't going to run it first because he had too much stuff to do, prepare himself for the Kemper World East Series season next year. He told me, you know, he was in a debacle and he didn't know what to do, whether to continue the team, run by himself, or but run with another team. Uh, what was your proposal at first? Well, the proposal, finally we get to the question. Uh, the proposal was just basically, would you like to come run with me? Um, and that was basically it, you know. It didn't, it didn't take too much arm twisting to get him to, to come over and join forces with me. So I'm excited about that, real excited. And as always, it's a pleasure to always have you back on the air. Savants, hope to see, wish you best luck in the future with Mears Motorsports. Thank you very much. It's very nice to be here. Well, folks, there you have it. I'm Rick Ash for Zimdicar Series. We'll see you for the 2010 winter season.